All right, let's talk about writing mixed numbers in words. Fractions and mixed numbers can be fun. And when we write them in words, here's the thing. You most likely already know how to do this, okay? When I say a fraction or a mixed number out loud, it's actually me giving the word form, okay? So if I look at this, okay, it's a mixed number. I look at my whole number first. What number is that? Two. Okay, now I'm done with that. I have this left. How do I say that fraction? Three. Fourths. Now it's important, I can't say two three-fourths, that doesn't make sense. I am saying I have two of something and three-fourths of another. So my answer is two and three-fourths. Next, let's see what this one is. Okay, look at my whole number. What is it? It's eight. Okay, I'm gonna eliminate two answer choices right away, here and here because that's saying that two is the whole number. That's not our whole number. So I already know it has to be one of these two answers over here. Okay, so I know my whole number is eight. How do I say that fraction? Two thirds. So my answer is eight and two thirds. How do we say this one? How do I say that whole number? 10, okay? Look at, I'm gonna go to my answers at the bottom and anything that does not have 10 as the first word, I'm crossing out there and there. I have two answer choices eliminated, okay? Now, how about that fraction? How do I say that fraction? I say it two, thirds. So I have 10 and 2 thirds. How about this one? That's my whole number. We go bit by bit. You don't try to read everything at once or do everything at once. You break it down and take your time, okay? My whole number is 2. I'm going to cross anything out at the bottom that doesn't have 2 as the first answer. First word in my answer. Okay, now, what is this fraction? Three fourths. Not my best handwriting there, but you get the idea. Two and three fourths. How about this one? That's my whole number. Ten, so we cross out. Anything that doesn't have 10 as my whole number down below, how do I say this fraction? Numerator first, two fourths. So it's 10 and two fourths. How about this one? What's my whole number? Nine. So I'm getting rid of my two down here that don't have nine as the first. How do I say that fraction? Two thirds. So it's nine and two thirds. Next one. That's my whole number. Two. Cross out what doesn't have that as my first. So even if you get stuck and you have to just guess, you're more likely to choose the right answer, to guess the right answer when you only have two choices, that you know it has to be one of them as opposed to four choices. And how do I say this fraction? Three fourths. So my answer is two and three fourths. How about this one? How do I say that? Nine. Eliminate what doesn't have nine as my first. How do I say 
that fraction. Three fourths. So nine and three fourths. How about this one? Whole number first. What is it? Six. Good. So we're crossing out what we don't need. Okay. And what is this fraction here? Three fourths. So it's six and three fourths. Let's do one more. How about this one? What's my whole number? Seven. So let's get rid of where we don't have seven as the first word. And what is this fraction? Two fourths. So my answer is seven and two fourths. Great job reading these mixed numbers.